Hi guys, Brown here and welcome back to my F1 2019 career mode here today, or should I say tonight, for the Singapore Grand Prix. Last time out in Monza, it was a very hectic race with collisions up and down the pack. We also got involved in some, especially with our teammate as well, with Pierre Gasly. Red Bull not happy with that, of course Gasly is the number one driver in that team. But into qualifying for Singapore, and it's a track I love, but I was really struggling um, in the Red Bull. When I was doing practice, I was miles off the pace doing the practice programs. I was just struggling and I really didn't want this to turn into another Silverstone or Germany. But hopefully it won't. On to our second one in Q1. And we're heading up to the final corner which I was struggling on as well. But we hit it to perfection that time. And that lap is going to put us into P12 and through into Q2. Two. Those out of Q1 were Weber, Giovinazzi, Butler, Grosjean and of course Lance Stroll Into Q2 now and as you can see here we were just looking for a gap And then Gasly is coming up and I can see him I tried to get out of the way And then he just followed me and hit into the back of me And it's probably the slowest crash I've ever had on the F1 games to be honest Red Bull aren't going to be happy with us and to be honest I'm not really too happy at Red Bull I think it's just kind of it's not a nice place to be at the minute especially with the contracts every four races we just can't get a new contract it is really starting to get on my nerves here at Red Bull now but we'll have to see what we can do heading into the final corner with seven temps up on this lap but it isn't going to be enough and we are knocked out in Q2 and we're going to be starting 13th on the grid. Those out of Q2 were Perez, Norris, us, Albon and Kevin Magnussen. Let's get into this Grand Prix. The sun sets over the South China Sea. The sport that never sleeps is alert and raring to go. Welcome under the bright lights of the Marina Bay circuit to another Singapore Grand Prix. It's a very long, very physical lap, this one, and really there's not much in the way of margin for error. So we have a bit of an endurance race for you tonight. The Marina Bay Street Circuit then has 23 corners, 13 to the left and 10 to the right, taking us a total of 3.1 miles around the landmarks of downtown Singapore. An average lap speed around here, just 107 miles per hour. And it's an absolute pleasure to be joined once again by Anthony Davidson. Let's talk about Brown. That was a great podium in the last race. So can they keep that momentum going this weekend? There are never any guarantees in this business, but certainly the performance last time out will have boosted their confidence coming into this one. It's time to take a look at our starting grid for today's race. Lewis Hamilton lines up on pole position and Max Verstappen lines up alongside. Considering the rest of the grid, we have Gasly, Vettel, Daniel Ricciardo, and Russell, Kubica, Perez, Norris, and Brown, Bottas, Leclerc, they've taken a grid penalty, Kevin Magnussen, and Hulkenberg, Weber, Giovinazzi, Devon Butler, and Roman Grosjean, Stroll, and Alexander Albon picks up the last spot on the grid, and with lights out just moments away, it's time to go down to the track. So, strategy, we're going to be starting on the mediums and then going on to the hards. We need to go for a dive at the start. We're promoted to P10 with penalties, but we need to go for a dive bomb. I'm aiming to be at least P6 by the end of the first lap as the lights come on here. And it's lights out and away we go. Vettel and Verstappen are straight over to that left hand side of the track to get on the clean run. And we've gone for a lunge down the inside of seven cars there. And we've lost two positions and now we're going to wheel to wheel with Danny Rick and we've got Danny Rick and that puts us straight into P6 would you believe it what a start Hamilton leads though from Gasly Verstappen Vettel Russell Perez who is side by side with Danny Rick and has actually gone him now as now Charles Leclerc in the background has got past one McLaren of Lando Norris and now he's going wheel to wheel with the other McLaren of Nico Hulkenberg is on the outside of Hulkenberg now, now switches to the inside 
as he just about gets ahead there. Hulkenberg not giving up. Leclerc's line then tra then changes again to the outside, and now it's a drag race up the straight, and now to the inside. It's on the outside. He's pulled half a car length there. Has Charles Leclerc down the inside, and he finally gets the job done. As we go for the lunge down the inside, we catch George Russell napping, and we move up then into P5 at the end of lap one. This is what it looked like from. George Russell's point of view, he hesitated turning in and that's enough of an opportunity for me and I've gone for it down the inside, here we go again, you would have noticed as well we've actually gone back to the Silverstone helmet, I just thought it looked cool under the lights, but skipping on to lap 2 then, everyone's heading through with the car in front of us is Sebastian Vettel in that Alpha and we just got to have to see what we can do, I thought the pace wasn't going to be great in the race and we just have to see, this is a replay of the start, this is from Gaza's point of view, so he gets a great start, I'm not really sure what Verstappen and Vettel are doing there, but Gasly trying to go down the inside of Hamilton, Hamilton defends him off, like you would expect, but Gasly coming off the win, after Monza, this is what it looked like from Bottas, Bottas not really getting a good start, but the second phase of it was better, and he gets caught up there, with one of the Williams, it's on the outside of a McLaren, with everyone just trying to keep it clean going through the first couple of corners onto lap three and we're closing on the back of Sebastian Vettel heading through the chicane and now we're going to go for a, a lunge down the inside at the hairpin at the Anderson Bridge copy and paste of what we did to George Russell this is what it looked like from the back of Sebastian Vettel the door was open and I was never going to let it shut until I had my car there and down the inside this is us on Max Verstappen these soft tyres on the front when it runs are really struggling as they're Pig Gasly having a look at Lewis Hamilton and all oh, Verstappen locked up that was so close these medium tyres though felt absolutely amazing there's another look looking back at us going for the lunge and now here comes Pig Gasly this was actually at the same time this is a replay Skipping on into lap 4, it is Mercedes, Red Bull, Red Bull, as we are on the back of our teammate now, heading through the final corner onto lap 5, and here comes Pierre Gasly down the inside into turn 1 on Lewis Hamilton, Hamilton now trying to defend to the outside, Gasly's right there on the inside, Gasly's line though is going to turn back to the outside with the nature of this track, it's absolutely amazing. Gasly on the outside, we're kind of sitting back here, this is an awful camera angle, Gasly's still there on the outside though, as it's a drag race now, and we're all over the back of Gasly, just trying to find a slipstream, and we're going to sail round the outside of Gasly, but he forces us off the track, and that couldn't really do anything there, we're back on the inside of him though, and he squeezes us out again, and we're just going to have to be patient and wait for the mean while. Skipping on to lap 6 now once we've crossed the line and we're just all over the back of him and now we've caught him napping and we're going to go sailing around the outside at turn 3 that is not an overtaking place it is now though what a move that was Pierre Gasly not expecting that and that was a move out of nothing round the outside of Pierre Gasly Red Bull Christian Horner I hope you're watching make me number one driver your, your number one driver shouldn't be getting done round the outside like and here we come then on Lewis Hamilton we're going to go to the outside and we're going to do a copy and paste of what we did to Max Verstappen and we're going to take the lead of this Singapore Grand Prix on lap 7 and from the start of this race weekend in practice if you had told me that we would have been leading the race I would have taken your hand off because I was struggling so much. This is a replay. Hamilton just couldn't put up a fight. We were too quick. And we just about keep it on the track there. Right up to the right line. We were. And Hamilton now has to defend Pierre Gasly. But on to lap 7. At the end of lap 7. I should say. Hamilton and Gasly pit. Those soft tyres couldn't go too far. And they're going to go onto the set of the mediums. 
commit committing themselves to the two stop so they're gonna have to pit again and we're only doing the one stop so we just need to get our head down now and just see what we can do but the medium tires the soft just didn't look to switch on for the front runners and our medium is just absolutely ripped through the lot of them and you saw that that was just pure pace as a lap later into the pits comes Max Verstappen and Sebastian Vettel and in third place and second place of this race now is Sergio Perez and Lando Norris Lewis Hamilton on lap 9 then is pushing hard now and here comes George Russell he's just about beaten out uh, Max Verstappen there it's now a drag race up to the next corner Verstappen finds himself on the outside Verstappen's actually beating out Gasly so Gasly's lost a big chunk of time and now the straight line speed of that Ferrari is going to take him past the Williams and now the Williams of George Russell is going to be absolutely double team now as here comes Pierre Gasly down the inside into that corner and gets past he's now on the outside though George Russell not giving up he's still defending and he's defended there he's still alongside but Gasly gonna try and do what Charles Leclerc did to Nico Hockenberg on lap one and he does that and he's passed this is a slow-mo of what happened lovely shot there of Pierre Gasly's move it's a lovely move around the outside anyway this is the on board just flicks it in leaves in the space and now on to lap 12 and the front runners that pitted are just in traffic and down the inside he goes there Lewis Hamilton of on the tour Russell and now round the outside it's on Alex Albon and he's got past and now Max Verstappen he's got to find a way past as now Lewis Hamilton caught up to the back of his teammates Perez and Norris pitted so Devon Butler was now in P2 and this was the fight for P3 round the outside Giovinazzi has to defend his teammate Hamilton on the inside Giovinazzi doing a beautiful job he didn't have the best of races last time at, at his home Grand Prix at Monza so he wants to prove himself here but Hamilton all the way around the outside just like Pierre Gasly did on his teammate and that's a wonderful move skipping on to lap 16 now and we're going to make our one and only stop and we actually managed to pull out a 24 second lead so we should come out in the league fairly comfortably when we trundle out of the pit lane as out of this is p2 devon butler pushing this is him round the final corner lewis hamilton p3 now there's us coming out of, of the pits and now there is devon butler coming into turn one and we've beat the the Renault out and now Lewis Hamilton really has to get the hammer down and past Devon Butler and then kind of start challenging us because he's got a pit again so we have somehow pulled out a whole pit stop that is how much they got held up in the traffic and that's how quick I was in this race just a combination of both and this is literally one lap later you can see this is lap 18 Hamilton all over the back but look at the gap we've pulled in a single lap skipping on now to lap 20 and into the pits comes Lewis Hamilton to make his second and final stop of the Grand Prix and now he just needs to push he can still get on the podium if he's lucky enough and this is a new camera angle that I just was trying out I was bored while I was coming through recording all this footage of the replay cameras and I just thought whether you might like it just have in the moment um, to it be like real life if they had a camera on the helmet just heading through here heading through the corners if you want to know how I did this I literally was just moving the wheel left and right depending on what corner I was but I think it looks quite cool. Let me know what you're thinking down in the comments. Do you like it? Do you want it to stay? Do you want it to be there in Russia as we skip on to lap 22? And here comes Max Verstappen down the inside on a Toro Rosso there. And he's side by side. I do believe it's Albon, Pig Gasly trying to follow him through. But 
he does defend there. Does Alex Alburn and now Pierre Gasly can he get he get on the phone telling to move out of the way? But it doesn't matter because one lap later he is past the Toro Rosso anyway, and he hasn't lost too much time there. But the Toro Rosso is fighting him with Alburn, but eventually does get up, give up. It's a absolutely massive train there. As Lewis Hamilton's caught the back of the pack now. This is Lucas Weber and the Toro Rosso. He's been doing absolute bits lately. Ever since the summer break, he's been absolutely flying. Even in Hungary, he's down the inside into turn three. Tries Lewis Hamilton, they're still side by side. Lucas Weber not giving up. Now Hamilton's going to have to go the long way around, all the way around the outside. And is he past it? It's going to be a drag race through the kink. And that Mercedes engine just has enough to drag him past the Honda in the back of that Toro Rosso skipping on to lap 28 and heading through this is Valtteri Bottas's race engine ending as his engine blows on lap 28 of this Singapore Grand Prix it hasn't been a good weekend for Bottas he'll regroup and return in Russia where he's been so dominant in real life but we're going to skip on to the final lap and this is Lewis Hamilton trying to get past for third place but we're going to round the final corner and we're going to win in Singapore and we're going to get our first win since Austria all that while ago back in June wow this result do you think? I think we'll chalk this one up to a death touch on the brake pedal. That's allowed them to challenge down the inside into the braking zones, and ultimately, if you do that often enough, you end up winning the race. It was great to watch as well though, wasn't it? Forget strategy, forget tyre management. Who doesn't love a good old-fashioned scrap? Red Bull put up an outstanding fight for the front position today, and it's great to see it paid off for them. They do so much for the sport that you can't help but be delighted by today's race win. Wow, could you script a podium like that? A double British podium, we win. Sergio Perez in the racing point, that is supposedly the worst car in terms of the performance in P2. And Lando Norris, P3, getting his first podium, fending off the now six-time champ, Lewis Hamilton, not only in real life, but in this season as well. Um, we're now leading the championship. We were 20 points behind Charles Leclerc. Charles Leclerc didn't score, so we have pulled the gap and now we're five points clear of Charles Leclerc. In the constructors, we're eight points behind Ferrari. So me and Gasly, we've been putting in the results lately. It's now a back-to-back -back win for us as well with Monza. We're winning the rivalry with Lewis Hamilton. We're losing it to Pierre Gasly. We're going to be doing an upgrade on the chassis side as well. And then that will come in for Russia. That's going to be the only upgrade of Russia. And you can see how tight it is there on the graph. You can see Racing Point is the second worst team. Toro Rosso are the worst team apparently. And look how well um, Lucas Weber was doing in that race. Battling away with, with Lewis Hamilton. But that was really the most... The most that was really the most strategic race I think I've ever done. The one stop was so powerful and it cost the front runners starting on the soft. They just couldn't take those the tyres far enough into the race to then put on the hards and go to the end. And it was just it was just a good race. We pick up our first win since Austria and I feel like we've now got the season back on track. And if you actually look at the past three rounds we've gone third second first so it's the only way is up and the only way if you look at the results has always been up so hopefully going into Russia in the next race 
it can improve, it can maybe possibly get another win, we'll have to wait and see, but if you've liked this video, do make sure to hit the like button if you like these kind of content, if you really like this career mode series and you want to see more on the channel all the way up to the next season when the next game comes out then smash that like button as well and i will see you in russia goodbye